on the coast, from the beaches to the valleys. At 6, this is KEYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. I decide as I go and I do worry about it. Yeah. So whenever we are going inside the indoor place, I have my, uh, my uh, mask in my pocket. That's a Santa Barbara visitor who says that she is still carrying a mask. The growing spread of the Delta variant is on the mind of many travelers. It is our top story tonight at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm C.J. Ward. Santa Barbara County health officials are expressing more concerns about variants going forward. And News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palmentary joins us now live. And John, you check to see if this is changing the minds of people who are out and about. Well, we listened in on the Board of Supervisors meeting for a couple of hours this morning, came down here to the waterfront in Santa Barbara and talked to people and found that many of them are not wearing a mask, but are aware that the variant still exists. They are aware that there are risks and they're taking caution where they need to. It's regarding the update on the coronavirus disease. To With COVID-19 numbers laying low in Santa Barbara County, health leaders say the numbers show some clear timelines and demographic trends. January had the highest case count since the beginning of the pandemic at 10,207, more than triple the case count of the summer peak. The area with the highest infections throughout the pandemic has been in Santa Maria, followed by Santa Barbara and Lompoc. County supervisors have also heard an update about deaths in the last few months. It's striking to see that in particular, our recent deaths are in 100% unvaccinated people. If you're an adult that has uh, heartburn about your, your kid getting vaccinated, well, then you sure better get vaccinated in order to uh, heighten uh, the safety of the community and your family. But still to be worked out as the protocols for students when school resumes. State recommendations just released have a pivot, and local school districts will likely have more control over where and when masks will be necessary in student settings. Then there's the travel issue. You know, you can't live your life being constantly worried. You know, you have to take some smart precautions. With the COVID variant still very present, many travelers who say they want to get out there this summer are doing it very carefully. I've just started traveling again for business. Um, so it is putting me on airplanes and in hotels and it feels great to be out. One parent said she and her family are carefully considering where they're going and what precautions they need. I decide as I go and I do worry about it. Yeah. So whenever we are going inside the indoor place, I have my, uh, my uh, mask in my pocket. I have twin boys that are not uh, 12 yet, so they are not protected. So also for them, I need to, to be aware and st at least protect my own family. Just to be out again, even with a mask at times, has proven to be a relief for people who remember how cooped up they were last summer. If I go in a place that everybody's masked up, I'll happily wear my mask, but I don't feel it's as necessary right now for me. Questions were also raised about when we might be out of COVID, and it looks like it's going to be present for some time. The estimate was we'd need to have about 95% of the population either vaccinated or have had COVID before we be in a better place down the road. Reporting live along the Santa Barbara waterfront this evening, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3. All right, thank you, John. And for the first time in more than a year, the Santa Barbara County Board of Supervisors held its weekly meeting. In